Hi guys, welcome to Red Sweet Outdoors. Uh, it's time for another cooking on my Trangia Mini and today it's time for my absolute favorite outdoor brunch, pancakes and bacon. So, tag along. So it's time to do some cooking again. And uh, if you have followed me for some time, you know that I absolutely love pancakes. So it's time to put the Tarangia Mini to the test and see if it's good enough for pancakes. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't, but it's always fun to try out. So that's my main friend today. I've got myself a bag. Of course, it starts to get dirty when I'm done. And my little spatula in this last time. And the burner. I think we can do without the rest. And maybe I can do without a windscreen. I have it here if you need it. So let's see, I cheated today, I made the pancake batter ready, put it in a bottle, so it's just to squeeze out. And if there's leftover, I can bring it home again. Let's see, do I have any spirits left since the last outing? Well, that was a tiny little sneeze. So, we refill. Take a big load. I just might want many pancakes today. You'll never know. Let's see. Butter and batter. And a splash of water for the burner because it gets a tad better. I get a bit of that flame control with the water. And about a teaspoon. Like so. And let's fire it up. Yes. I better bring the gloves so I can do some adjustments. Seems like I have a little slope down. That should be better. And looks like the windscreen is going to do its part today. Something like that. And probably the simmering. And let's rock. It's the same when you get a new stove at home or 
anything. It takes some fiddling to find the precise, perfect uh, setting to make pancakes. So, uh, in a way, it's a very good test of your flame control. And I can tell you that much, that this flame is a bit too small. So I need to open the simmering up a bit. Maybe like that. And centered. It seems like the water is enough to uh, get a good flame for pancakes. Uh, because even the sim with its most open position, this simmer takes away too much heat. Let's make the plate ready to accept some pancakes. I think the first one is ready for a flip. Well, doesn't look too bad. That will do. I think I will do one more pancake and uh, then it's time for the bacon. Brunch is served. It's time for brunch. Uh, let's check this out. Yes, perfect golden bacons. And let's see if the pancakes are like they should. Uh, so, piece of bacon and just cut straight through the stack. Like so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfection. Yes. That was a good brunch, and now it's time for coffee, and uh, I realized I made a mistake. You know the thing I always say, uh, use a pack list. Um, I thought that I was going for just a brunch hike, and uh, who needs a pack list for that? And did I forget something? Oh yes, 
my coffee mug. But um, no matter, I will drink straight from the Trangia mini pot. It's a large cup, uh, but I was planning on drinking this much coffee anyway, so no matter. Yeah, um, I must say that the Trangia Mini held up very well and making pancakes. The non-stick performed uh, admirably. No complaints there. Nothing stuck. Uh, I start to get a bit feel for the flame control. Um, so I took a teaspoon of water now again. Um, it worked well the last time. And uh, for making pancakes uh, I didn't need the simmering today. Uh, if I opened it wide, it was still taking away too much heat to make good pancakes. So, uh, just a teaspoon of water, and I got almost perfect. Tiny tad too hot. Uh, but, good enough for me. So, uh, I'm starting to get the hang of the Trangia Mini. And, uh, Yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this kit. Uh, if I do simple things, uh, it's it's good enough. Like now, pancakes, bacon, fried eggs, omelette, brewing coffee. Uh, it, it's perfect. If I'm going to do something more advanced, or for more than me, uh, I would probably go with uh, my 25 uh, instead. Uh, a larger version, uh, and it's a bit robust. And uh, now the weather is, uh, the wind comes and goes, and sudden bursts. Uh, so, so the windscreen uh, really fills its purpose. But uh, when the wind dies down, uh, as it does today, uh, I can do without. Uh, so, uh, the wind windscreen kind of is a must. Or, uh, the mini <coughs> and I think that's one of the features I, I like with uh, the 25 uh, that, that it comes with a windshield it's part of construction well for all of you guys that just popped in to see uh, how it works to make uh, American pancakes in the Tangier mini Thanks for stopping by, uh, I hope you like it, and uh, um, the rest of the video is a rant coming up, uh, or not so much as a rant, but uh, it it's kind of exclusively for the guys that have been following me for quite some time now. Uh, because. Uh, just before my holiday, I, I made this video about my creative block and uh, uh, the response you gave in your comments. Uh, it was totally mind-blowing, not in my wildest dreams. I, I saw that kind of support, uh, good advice, uh, encouragement. Uh, it was totally mind-blowing. So. Uh, once again, a heartfelt thank you for all of you that took of your time uh, to write your thoughts on the matter. Uh, I think by now I have had time to answer all of the comments um, that, that's come to date. Um, but no, no matter what uh, Huge thank you. Um, that that kind of support means everything uh, for a content creator, kind, kind of. Uh, it was. I think it sounded more dramatic than it was. It wasn't like I was going to quit YouTube or something. But uh, after the response I got, I think I will be. Uh, a little less demanding on what I release, uh, things that I, I won't say half-assed, but uh, that isn't touching on perfection. Uh, I, I maybe should settle for probably good enough, 
when I release something and uh, let you, the watchers, be the judge if it's worth your time and uh, not for me to in advance second guess your opinion about it because I know nothing about it really. If it's bad you will tell me. Some of you may have noticed that my train Yamini now has a little bag because I, I realized that uh, water or not in the spirits uh, this uh, kit gets dirty like all spirit burners in the end and it messes up your backpack so uh, I ordered uh, this from uh, Trangus webshop so I can keep clean and dirty stuff separated uh, and uh, that by itself is not very special really but uh, for, for me uh, it's kind of special because this is the first thing that I bought with YouTube money. Uh, I'm, I'm a monetized since a couple of months back and uh, now I, I reached uh, the minimum uh, paycheck. Uh, I think it's uh, 70 dollars. Uh, so uh, now I get paid for the commercials, so uh, all the time that everyone spends watching my videos uh, renders some stuff. And uh, my plan, because it's now, as I said, it's seventy dollars, uh, my first paycheck after uh, three months. So it's no, not like I'm going to quit my day job and be a YouTuber full time. <laughs> uh, not really. But uh, I made the decision that all the money I get from YouTube will be invested in the channel in some way. Uh, stuff that I wanted to buy uh, but being a bit too scroogey uh, to buy them. And uh, things I want to test uh, that will be purchased uh, for the money for, for commercials So and will feature in the channel in one way or another and uh, hopefully I will still only buy things that I really like and to use so uh, but you never know I bought stuff before that I had high hopes about and they were bust um, and the bag wasn't the only thing uh, I ordered for those my first paycheck there are a few other things that will feature in with videos to come further down the road. So uh, just hang on for that. And if you like the video, as always, give it a thumbs up. Uh, it helps the video get a spread and uh, <laughs> I would say gives me more material to feature in the channel uh, in the long run. Uh, and I, as always, I appreciate your comments. Uh, both the support that you've given me, obviously, but, but also advice, challenges, uh, I do like them. Um, and if you think that, hey guy, you can do this much better, and that you said there, that's totally off. Uh, so please correct me if I'm, uh, if, if I'm wrong. I can handle that. I know I don't know everything. And if you want to see when I'm out doing shenanigans and trying out new stuff or old stuff again, just press the subscription button and the bell will give you a notification when I'll release something new. But until next time, take care. Raids without. Cheers.